Hello everyone, welcome to Cool IT Help and welcome on the new Mac operating system Mac OS Monterey. I have recently updated this from Big Sur to Monterey. So I'm going to share you guys how you can set up Java underscore home on your Mac OS Monterey. So guys, let's get started. This is the notepad and these are the steps we are going to follow here in this tutorial. Let's begin with the step one. So guys, first we need to open the bash underscore profile file in the edit mode. To open this, we have to open the terminal. Then we have to type a simple command. Let me show you. Okay, so first we have to go here in this spotlight search type terminal and press enter. In front of you, the terminal window will appear. So here is my terminal window. And let me increase the font size so this will be visible clearly. Now uh, I'm going to type that command open tilt sign forward slash dot bash underscore profile. Press enter. And guys, this will open your bash profile in edit mode with the help of notepad.txt. Okay, this is the file. Once your file is open, you can see some of the entries will be there and some of the entries will not be there because it depends on system to system. So maybe one or two entries will be there in your case. So I have done a lot of things here with the bash profile. So these entries are appearing here. So guys, the two important thing we need to note here. You can look at the first two lines. So first thing we have to use the export, then the variable name Java underscore home equal sign, then the path of the JDK, the installed JDK on your Mac OS. After that, we have to use the export path equal sign dollar path colon dollar Java underscore home forward slash bin. That means we are pointing to the JDK's bin folder. So these two lines are important. If these two lines are not present in your batch profile, so you have to maintain both lines. Now we are at the step two guys. So if, if you want to install different JDK, so just visit the Oracle website and choose the appropriate version which you are looking for. Just download that JDK exe and install it. After that, we will update the path of that JDK here in this bash profile. Now I'm showing you how you can do it. So guys, once you finish your installation of the JDK, you can find the installed JDK location at this place. This is the path library Java virtual machine. You can simply copy this from the description and open the spotlight and paste it here. You can see the Java virtual machines folder open. Once you open this folder, you will find your installed JDK will present here. As you can see, in my case, I have already installed three different JDK version, open JDK 11, JDK 15 and JDK 1.8. In this scenario, I'm going to set up JDK 1.8 or you can say I'm going to switch to JDK 1.8 from JDK 15. So simply what I need, I need the name of this folder. So do the right click or uh, we need the path. So you can get by doing the right click and you can choose the get info. So this window will open or this, this way you can copy the complete path. For your convenience, I have given the uh, complete path in the description. So you can use that path. Now, now we need to change the JDK folder name in the notepad. So I'm planning to set JDK 1.8. So the first half will be same, then forward slash JDK 15.0 point something and then click. And simply copy the folder name from this place. Whatever folder name or uh, the JDK you are using, 
So I'm at this place, paste it and put a forward slash because we are going inside the contents folder. There we will get all the uh, runtime files and then home. So this will be the complete path. You can match the path, same given in the description. So this is the complete path. And we are not placing the forward slash after the home. So make sure you have given the right path at this place. That's it. The second one is the export path entry, which is important. Now, once you've done this thing, you have to simply close this bash profile file after saving it. This way we have finished this step two. Now we can close this file in the step three. So bash file is closed and now we will open the new terminal window and there we will validate our installation is successful or not. Simply we have to type the simple command java space hyphen version. Here we go. I am opening the new window this way. And the at this terminal I am typing java space hyphen version interpressed and now you will see this message java version 1.8 or whatever java version you have uh, chosen that will be displayed here in my case this was 1.8 so this showing me the 1.8 the se runtime environment setup is perfectly done now we are at the step four guys java installation is successful and now you can hit the like and you can press the subscribe button to support us. Thanks for watching. Cool IT help.